What's up, everybody? Welcome to a very special edition of Retro Now. We have Inspector Gadget. We have the Retro. We have the Now. All right, here we have the Retro. Ages five and over. 20 moving parts, eight magic action features, helicopter hat, pop-up neck, real top coat, extension arm and parachute umbrella, crime stopper hammer and working handcuffs. I can get kinky. Pop out hands and legs. Made by Galoob. Galoob. What the heck did Galoob used to make back in the day? Uh, this is a pretty good condition box. Not perfect, but, you know, go out there and see what you can find representation-wise of this actual action figure. And this is a pretty good, uh, pretty good box, if I don't say so myself. I just did. All right, here he is out of the package. Got all the parts that he came with. And here is the inspector himself. Man, I really wanted this back in the day when he came out. I actually admittedly forgot he existed until I saw him online. And I had to pick him up. Goes for quite a bit complete. All right, let's get him. All right, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Inspector Gadget. So there he is. Shit, is that supposed to happen? I think it does. <laughs> yeah, it does. All right, get in there. All right, so he um, does a lot of things here. There's a button somewhere. Does the spring legs. Boing, boing, boing. Um, we saw his fist shoot out. I know his neck pops up. Ah, the button is in his butt. Yeah. Ah, there it goes. <laughs> it's funny. The button's in his butt and it makes his head pop up. Anyway, so there he is. His arms sh shoot out. You saw that. I'm not going to test that again because the age of the figure, I just kind of want to limit the amount of times I hit those buttons. I don't know how much it can take. Uh, but we will push his head back down. Now see how it spins there? You get that tight. So there's the button on his butt. I have to make sure that clicks in, and it did. I don't know why I keep showing you his butt. And there he is, back to normal. This is the first run, and it has the elbows that actually bend. There's a second run that has no elbow articulation. This one is the rarer of the two. So, a lot of times when you saw the show, you saw him with his helicopter hat. So, let's try to reenact that. That's as close as I can get his hands. I, I mean, if I really want to mess with it for another half hour, you can get his hands on there. But you get the point. It spins pretty good. All right, let's see his other pieces. Let me go on. Remember that? And he used to, that's pretty cool. I'm popped out, but that's okay. There's multiple points of bending, articulation, how you want to put it. 
Got an umbrella. And things like that. Keeps him dry. He can put your arms down now. Whoa, those suckers shoot. <laughs> Ain't no joke. That's like Voltron uh <laughs> pressure right there, man. Shoot somebody's eye out with that. That is a serious projectile. All right, let's get him situated. I like how the coat is, you know, it's actually like coat material, feels like it. And basically this interchanges into that. So, I, mean, I guess a lot came out of his hat now that we're doing this. Pretty interesting. And here are the realistic handcuffs. Or working handcuffs, rather. So, still in perfect shape. So, that's the retro. I love him. Touching him just takes me back. This is 1983, folks. 1983. Do the math. We're in 2021. 1983 right here. I mean, this is this is a piece of history. At least in many of your childhoods. All right. So let's look at the now. And we have the now. This is made by Five Pro Studio. Never heard of them. Here's the back of the box and all the stuff it has. Let's get them open. This is a long time coming. Probably have something nicer to open it with, but I don't. So there's multi-level packaging. Comes with a nice little backdrop. This is a stand comes with. You can connect all the stands with the backdrop and have a nice little thing going. Now this comes with instructions. Um, great, everyone loves instructions. All right, so that looks like the helicopter pieces, the spring pieces. So right out the package, it looks like nothing is actually in this action figure. You have to actually add it. Whereas the original, it was all, the spring-loaded shoes were in there, the fists flied out, flew out like Voltron, like Voltron missiles. Got all the accessories. Honestly, looks looks exhausting. Talk about plastic noise. It didn't actually make it easy to open. Okay, so some nice little plastic. And here he is. This is me touching him for the first time. Uh, <laughs> wow, I mean, it looks like he just jumped out of the cartoon. What do you think? And uh, it comes with an extra face. It's like a happy face. It's like a kind of a creepy face. Stay away from strangers. All right. Oh, look, he's got roller skates. You can put on the bottom. Get out of here. Look at that. All right, this is fun. All right, all right let's do that really fast. Roller skates. Yeah. 
He's got so much accessories, I don't want to start messing with him too much. Alright, that, that is pretty cool. Let's actually roll. And he stands pretty good. Comes with a magnifying glass. A flashlight. Curious eyes. Oh, this goes on his hat. His hat opens up. What is this? Oh, get out of here. Look at this, everyone. This is an actual badge. Look at that. Okay, okay. There's a lot of details in the new one. Um, and then you have the extra fists, open fists and whatnot. So, he looks pretty cool. Take these skates off. I knew the foot was gonna come off. All right, so there's the end result. Does it look good? Absolutely, without a doubt. Does it spin? I know everyone's wanting to know. It does not spin. Unlike the original, that does spin. So it just goes to show you, even though they did all this extra stuff, where you could pop this off, pop that off, do this, do that. Um, there he is with his spring shoes. Go, go, gadget spring shoes. Wing. Do they actually push down a little bit? A little bit. You can get a little bit of spring action. I think it's cool to note that he comes with a magnifying glass that actually magnifies. Look at his eyeball. His eyeball's bigger. Let me pull it down. So the magnifying glass actually works. And he has his telephone hand. Also has his little drill hand when he wants to go somewhere. And he's got his pointing hand when he wants to point. So that's, that's pretty cool. He does come with a lot of cool accessories. Um, you saw the roller skates, you saw the helicopter, etc. Um, Let's get some front and side back. <laughs> And then we'll compare the retro and the now. Uh, I do have Brain and Penny, and I also have the Chief. I'll show you those boxes. Even Here's a quick look at Penny and Brain, or Brain and Penny, the way it's written. Like I said, if you want me to open these and make a video, let me know. I know you're still out there. So that is them. And here is Chief Quimby. Looks like it comes with the trash can, the secret message, pops out of the can. You know how he always used to give Inspector Gadget those secret messages and that would self-destruct and then he would always throw the messages back at the chief and he'd end up exploding. So that's pretty cool. Again, I can open Chief, Quimby, and um, the other set, Rain and Penny, if you're interested. Make sure you put it in the comments, folks. That's really uh do 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 do
that's just disturbing right there. <laughs> All right, so let me get, you know, I'm gonna need a freaking shower. It's hot as hell in this room. And let me get some pictures and we're gonna wrap it up. All right, so here you have the retro and you have the now. Obviously there's a height difference and there is a difference in quality and how they made it. Retro is holding up to this day. The now looks pretty damn good to me. While this one is a little harder to get, actually a lot harder to get, this is almost like a masterpiece version of Inspector Gadget. All right, everybody, that wraps it up for this episode of Retro Now. Thanks for watching.